Hey, welcome back everyone to Moogie TV. My name's Moogie and today I'll be showing you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC for Warzone. So a lot of people commented that this video was helpful. Some people found issues on the way. So today it's going to be more of a no BS, uncut, unedited version. There's going to be issues. There's going to be troubleshooting. But I'm going to be walking through every step that I take in order to resolve those problems. Thank you everyone for 1,000 subscribers. We finally hit that 1,000 subscriber goal. Now we are grinding towards the watch hours. We're currently at like 3,200 watch hours out of the 4,000. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment that it helped, and share with a friend that might find it helpful. Okay, so first things first, the things you're going to need is a PS5 controller, and then you're also going to need a Windows PC that has Bluetooth on the motherboard. You have to make sure your PC or your laptop has a Bluetooth card so you could connect your controller wirelessly. This method is not for wired, but wireless method only. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to this website. It's x360ce.com. And you're going to go ahead and download either the 32-bit games version or the 64-bit games. If you guys aren't sure which version you have, type in system. Click on system information in the search window. And then you could scroll down right here where it says system type. And it'll tell you whether you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit version. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the four 64-bit games. All right, once that's downloaded, go ahead and save it. Okay, now let's back out before we go ahead and continue on here. So we have to connect our controller to our PC via Bluetooth. So how we do that is we're going to type Bluetooth down here in the search bar. Open up Bluetooth and other devices. So you're going to click on add Bluetooth or other device. You're going to click on Bluetooth because I already tried the Xbox controller thing. I guess this is a PlayStation controller, so that didn't work. We're going to click on Bluetooth and make sure that our device is discoverable. How you're going to do that is click on this button right here and the PlayStation button at the same time. And that's going to put it in pairing mode. Just keep it holding until it pops up on the Add a Device window on your PC. And there it is. It popped up at the very bottom there. You're going to click on that. And it's going to go ahead and connect. And it says your device is ready to go. And your controller should now have a solid light not blinking. Go ahead and hit Done. Now we're going to move back to the PC portion of this tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up your Brave browser or your internet browser. Go back to that file that you downloaded, the x360ce zip. And we're going to go ahead and open that. And what you're going to do with this folder is you're going to drag and drop it into your Modern Warfare folder before you open it or do anything. So down in the search, or just open up your folders, find where your Modern Warfare folder is located. For me, I have a separate D drive. It's located under D, and then under Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you're going to go ahead and drag and drop this file into this folder, and there you go. It's in the folder Call of Duty Modern Warfare now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and X this out, and we're going to focus right here. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to double-click on the x360ce underscore x64 application. And, okay, so this is one of the main comments that I got. X input one underscore dot dll was not found this file is required for emulator to function properly do you want to create this file yes hit create there you go that's the first step now once you hit create this window pops up it says new device detected wireless controller it says search automatically for settings and then 
search the internet is selected or browse my computer for settings. So I don't have anything saved. This I actually, I think I tried next. Okay, so it's searching and search locally. It found nothing. So just hit finish. And it says uh, this error right here, PAD zero misconfigured device, check GUIDs. So if you guys got this error, don't worry. I'm getting it too, and I still got it to work. Just hit OK, and now move back to the emulator. I'm going to go ahead and close. I'm just going to minimize that. OK, so now we're on the emulator page. As you can see, my controller is on. It's paired to my PC but I'm having a red box on controller one. Okay, quick fix number one. Go ahead and click on auto right down here. Click auto. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to fill a all controller one settings automatically? I'm going to hit yes. And there you go. First issue resolved. The red box is now green, meaning that the emulator is picking up my controller. Now here comes the second issue. This auto configure is kind of mapped out to, I don't know what controller, I'm gonna guess it's the Xbox controller. So as you can see, the buttons don't function properly. This X axis is working, but when you come over here, it's triggering something completely different and not activating this. This is where You'll head over to the second link I'm going to provide, and I'll make it simple. I'll leave a link down below, but you're going to go to my Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash Moogie TV, and you're going to scroll down to this post right here where it says controller settings for PS5 controls for Call of Duty Warzone slash Modern Warfare slash Cold War. Click on that. I'm literally using a lot of the stuff I created as reference now because I found this on the internet but now I'm using my stuff because it's easier than searching the internet so here you go there's a link down below we're going to pretty much copy these settings to our x360 controller emulator so as you can see right here the x access or the trigger says access 3 and we want it to be access four. So what you're going to do is hit this drop down menu. You're going to go to access. And then if you see there's inverted, there's inverted half, half, and then access one through six. So as you see over here, it says access four. So you're going to select access four. Okay. I'm just going to show you what the other accesses look like. So if you go to inverted, it says, I axis. If you go to inverted half, it says I H axis. If you go to half, it says H axis. So you want to be sure you get axis four for this one. For example, down below here for stick axis Y, it says I axis two. So you want to make sure you get the inverted axis, not the regular axis or the half inverted or the half axis. Okay. It's really important you get these controls correct or else your controller isn't going to respond correctly. Or if you have one control mapped out incorrectly, then your whole controller is still not going to function as it should work. Okay. So the next one says button five. That's right. The next one says button 14. So we'll go click on the drop down menu, go down to buttons and then click on 14. Next one says button 10, hit the drop down menu. Go to buttons and button 10. So here's a little trick to this too. Um, you could go ahead, you know, I'm not going to even go over that. Let's forget. Okay. So the next one, axis, uh, stick axis X. Okay. The next one, stick axis X is axis one. That's right. Stick axis Y is correct. Stick button is button 11 drop down menu go down to button 11. Okay, so you guys see there is a record button. We're not gonna go over that today just because it could get confusing, but depending if you want custom controls or different mappings on your controller, you could use that record button and then click on the button on your PlayStation 5 controller to map that button onto the emulator, but we're not gonna go over that today. We're just gonna focus on copying these default controls over. So next we have trigger 
it's on axis six so we're going to want to change it to axis five like it says on our photo reference photo right here okay the next one bumper is button six next one is button four that's right okay now the x button is button one so we're going to go to button three go under buttons hit button one okay the next one says b button should be button three it's on two we're going to go to buttons and go to three and then the a button is going to be mapped out to button two and then the stick axis x there you see the h axis three and this says axis four so we need the h so what we do is go under axis we're going to look for h it's not under inverted it's not under inverted half it's under half so you're going to get half and then axis three and just double check that you have it right that you know everything looks right it, it could get really confusing but just as long as you follow this method where you're looking over this photo reference and looking over your controller emulator mapping you shouldn't run into too many problems okay next one is stick axis y it says inverted half axis six right now this says inverted axis so it's not under the right one again go under axis inverted half there it is i h and then six which is going to be the last one and then we have stick button 12 okay it's on 10 so we'll go into buttons and go to button 12 and there you have it all right this took me about maybe three minutes uh with explaining so should take you less than that just go ahead and double check everything like it's your homework right like your third grade homework just double check everything so you don't get any of the answers wrong make sure all of the button numbers are right the axis and the half axis and the inverted axis are all right um i'm double checking for myself so we don't mess this tutorial up uh half axis three inverted half six button 12. okay other than that don't change anything once you got button 12 that last one mapped out don't close out be sure to hit save right here so hit save once you hit save now you could x out this window okay so i'm going to x out that window i'm going to minimize my browser window and now we have to do one extra step and that's go back into your call of duty modern warfare folder and scroll down where you see x360 ce now you see there's two extra folders leave them alone don't throw them away leave them they need to be there so now you have the x360 ce with the little cogwheel and then now you have the controller emulator and then now you have the extra x input one underscore three dot dll file here okay so this is the important one you have to rename this file what you're going to want to do is right click click rename click at the end of three delete three the underscore and the one and you're going to type nine underscore one underscore zero and hit enter okay so you're gonna keep the x input portion and rename the last three numbers with nine underscore one underscore zero you have to have the underscores in between those three numbers and hit enter once you do that that is the last step okay so now i'm gonna close out this window we're gonna go ahead and open call of duty modern warfare I'm like nervous because last time I did this tutorial, it actually didn't work the first time and had to do something. I don't remember what I had to do, but but I think doing it the third time around, I think I've got it down. So we're going to go ahead and open Warzone. I mainly play Warzone. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, I stream daily at the moment on twitch.tv forward slash Moogie TV. Uh, we host really fun customs. Come check us out. And uh, here we go. Hopefully this works. Okay. All right. So the game's starting. Yes, I also use NVIDIA graphics filters or game filters. Be sure to check out that video. It's on my playlist somewhere. So go check it out. And I'm going to hit Warzone. Let me just make sure I'm invisible to people so people don't join me. 
All right, now I'm taking my controller. Oh, this the second step is if this is your first time connecting your controller to Warzone and you've been playing keyboard and mouse, you have to go into options, go into general, and then be sure to click on controller. And, you know, because keyboard and mouse was probably selected before, be sure to click on controller, hit back. And now your PlayStation controller is completely connected to your PC. All right, so there you guys go. That's the end of the tutorial. A no BS tutorial on how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC for Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare. And some people said Cold War, but I'm not sure. I don't have Cold War. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share with a friend that's having trouble connecting their PS5 controller to their PC. And thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.